Hey, hey, it's your broads. We're calling our squad. Our squad who loves Broadway. The Broadway Broad Squad. We hella love musicals and we review them all day. It's Jen and Sarah. Your fairy god broads. Hey. Places. Hi, I'm Jen. And I'm Sarah. And, and we're, we're the Broadway, Broadway Broads. Broads. If you're new here, welcome to the Broadway Broads Squad. You guys, we are live in New York City. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, squad, so this review is for the Music Man playing at the Winter Garden Theater. Oh, all right, squad. So this does not um, hit our Quest for 41. And if you are new here, the Quest for 41 is your broad's quest to hit all 41 Broadway shows, uh, Broadway houses here in New York City. Um, so we've been to the Winter Garden before, so this one doesn't get a check. Nope. Already got one. Yeah. <laughs> so we actually saw a 2 p.m. show on Saturday. And where do we sit? We, um, so this one, we were just lucky to be in the house, right? Um, we sat in row P, orchestra left, seat 33 and 35. Mm -hmm. And I got to say, they were not bad. They were quite good seats. Yeah, you should quickly just talk. You actually, you watch these tickets because the I price... Did. Like you are, it's like the stock market with you. Like you watch the prices go up and down and you were able to snag us some great seats yeah. at a good price. So, yeah. So, so just to let the squad to you. know, yeah. thank you. So, so these tickets were normally six ninety nine. Yeah. We did not pay that. No, we did not. Not even close. Like we wouldn't even have entertained, no. entertained that. The, or, the, that was just orchestra. Any seat in the orchestra was six ninety nine. The upper was three ninety nine. We ended up landing in on these seats because actually you were clever enough to find that if we just moved one row back instead of paying two sixty nine, we paid two oh nine mm -hmm. per ticket. Yeah, two oh nine instead of six ninety nine. Yeah, so yeah, so definitely um, that was pretty awesome. Yes. So thank you yes. for that. Yes, <laughs> yes. So the Winter Garden had it together. They were very thorough with the vaccination checks. Mm -hmm. Again, we're so very appreciative of that. Yep. Um, and of course, once we entered the theater, we went straight to Merck's. <laughs> of course we did. And they did have a lot of stuff there. But again, as I've told the squad before, we're starting to pare down a little bit on what we get. So I did walk away with the, you know, classic, mm -hmm. <laughs> the Music Man pin. So that was it. We do have some footage here um, just to show you. They have t-shirts and every yeah. other things as well. So. Also, the theater is dry, as most of you know, due to COVID. They are just minimizing um, things like that. Yeah. Um, and then also th something to keep in mind, the bathroom is upstairs. You actually hit the bathroom at this theater. Yeah. So again, we were on orchestra. There is bathrooms for the our orchestra, but all of the bathrooms are over on um, orchestra right. We were seated orchestra left. So I asked the usher before beforehand and it was easier for me to go upstairs so as soon as the lights went down at intermission I bolted upstairs um, and was like seventh in line for the yeah. bathroom so um, just keep that in mind too. Yep and yeah. so of course we headed to our wonderful seats <laughs> um, and they were actually quite roomy you know yeah we, um like we've said at many of these new york theaters our hips are best friends and a lot of times i've got my arm around jen because it's very tight but this one wasn't that way right um and then also i just got lucky like, yeah we there didn't was have nobody next, nobody to, next to us and then get this guys get this can't believe this there was two one tall person in front of us and a shorter person and they were like lovebirds so they had their heads you know leaned in but they left at intermission. So nobody in front of us. Nobody, yeah. yeah. So it was fantastic. Yeah, so, so wait for that curtain call, y'all. Yeah. You wait, you mm -hmm. wait. Uh, okay, so let's dive into the show. Um, okay, so technically, um, the set, um, it's very simple. Um, it's kind of like quintessential old Broadway. A lot of backdrops, a yeah. few moving pieces. We had Marion's house that came in, the train in the opening, which was also very cool. The you really yeah. the library scene. You all know mm -hmm. I'm a book bookie and, and, and I loved the whole yeah. the, all of the, the I knew it. Yeah, as soon as that thing came up, I was yeah, like, oh, yeah, I loved it. it. That was I loved it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely. Okay, and then also costumes. So we are in nineteen twelve mm -hmm. and it was like quintessential music man, exactly what you expected. Yeah. They didn't really yeah. they didn't tweak anything regarding costumes at all. But I think um, any costume costume person would appreciate the detail mm -hmm. um, to the costumes. Me, I'm a sucker for the boots. Oh yeah. And they had those lace up, you know, I don't <laughs> eye hook type boots that I'm just obsessed with and they had those and, and to see Sutton tap in those 
Okay, we'll get to that later. But yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you specifically talked a lot about the uh, pick a little uh, ladies. The pick a little ladies that looked like they were chickens or hens, hens yeah. and they had the feathers in their hats and their little. They had like perfect. even the peplum. Yeah, they just yeah, perfect, perfect, mm -hmm. perfect. Loved it. Um, okay, so let's talk a little bit about standout performances. Okay. Well, we all know why we're here. I mean, his name's all over the billboard, right? But I have to give props to the kids. Oh. So I went in blind, y'all. Never seen the show, don't even know the music. And I have to say, those kids danced their asses off. <laughs> yeah, they, I was watching one of the one of them specifically and just the whole, his whole track and just, all I kept thinking was like, oh my God, we're gonna see this kid from years to come yep. on Broadway. Like yep. he... And then, yeah. and the little girl, I mean, of course the little ones always stand out, but that little girl was holding her own. So oh, bravo yeah. to the children All in the, the children, show. yeah. Specifically, uh, Mr. Benjamin Padgett, who played Winthrop. I was a mess. Like when he, in act two, obviously Winthrop has a lot more to say, um, but every time he, he had a scene, I was like moved to tears. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. hats off to him. Yes. And then I also really enjoyed Marie Mullen as Mrs. Peru. I, I thought she was fantastic. And we We've seen her in other shows before too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, and then of course Miss Sutton Foster, um, really, really funny. Like her comedic timing. Mean, even yeah. the little she's dancing with Hugh and looks over at her brother and gives him a wink and sticks her tongue out at him, and it was perfect. And like honestly, I, I've seen this show before, and funny is not something I would usually remember that role for, but she was hilarious yeah. in this role. And and her voice, of course, I mean, that goes without saying, she's yep. amazing. Um, so hats off to Sutton Foster. Intermission time. Intermission. Oh, what do you think? He's so dreamy. Oh, he really is. You know, they keep calling him the spellbinder. And that's exactly what he is. I have, he's cast a spell on me. Oh yeah. Yeah. The whole the whole cast. Yeah, Foster. Yeah. 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 It really it, it's a good show. Yeah. We'll get into it a little later. Not sure if you can hear us, but yeah. Check it in. And okay. Can I, can I have my moment now? Absolutely. Okay. So. <laughs> So if you don't know, I'm obsessed with Hugh Jackman, have been even before Greatest Showman, like yeah. back in the day, Wolverine, I'm a sci-fi junkie. So uh, this was, I'm getting goosebumps right now. This was magic for me to be able to see him on stage. He is finer than fine, first of all, I'm sorry. Dreamboat. Yes, yeah. and the fact that even Sutton, I even knew who she was or remembered who she was next to him, that, that speaks volumes because anything else you would think would disappear with him on stage and she didn't. Right. Um, but his dancing, his dancing, yeah, his dancing, his, him in suspenders. <laughs> I mean, the, the the level of professionalism, but also the joy that you could feel from yeah. him with the cast. I saw him in the finale. He would like give fist pumps right before the show was over to every single band member that passed by him, and you could see the the twinkle in the kids' eyes looking at him too. Just yeah. you could tell they're just they're just. We, we both talked in depth last night about that um about how it's very clear that he just really loves the art yeah. of musical theater and being able to bring it to life yeah. on broadway so thank you mr jackman thank you i mean <laughs> honestly he 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 could go and make movies and not have to work even yeah. half as hard and he yeah. knows eight shows a week mm -hmm. eight shows a week tap dancing and dancing and singing his face off yeah yeah thank you Thank you. What a, wonderful what a gift yeah. to Broadway to have him come back and embrace us. Totally. So. Um, okay, so let's quickly talk about just some standout moments of the show. Um, for okay. me, the opening with the train sequence. Oh, yeah. Um, what do you talk? What do you talk? What do you, um, never seen the show, so that was yeah. exciting to sit there and watch them act like they're on the train. And mm -hmm. then Hugh's entrance. Yeah. Hugh's entrance. He was on the train the, the whole, whole time. time. The whole time. And then he just makes his entrance in the audience. They lost their shit. We lost yes. ours. And then resumed. <laughs> Absolutely. So, yeah, love that. Um, for me, also, anytime the Barbershop Quartet came on stage, I was excited. I kind of sat up and was like, Yay! yeah. Yeah. And I even, I wasn't expect, didn't know that was going to happen. Mm -hmm. I even said, do we get more of that? And you say, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that was, yeah, yeah. Yep. For me, 76 trombones was just seeing it all get put together and then to see it later with actual instruments, but to see it all come together and have every dance, you know, part get their moment with Harold mm -hmm. was just, I mean, yeah. I, I just, I great, loved it. Great, great Loved number. it, yeah. Uh, Shapoopy was another one. <laughs> yes, yes. So much fun. 
Um, and then, so this song, Till There Was You, as soon as she started to sing it, my mind went right to the wedding singer. Oh, I've never wow. heard the song before. So when I heard it, I'm thinking of the little old lady from the wedding singer singing it. I'm like, that's the song. Yeah. So anyway, I loved that moment. That was, yeah, I loved that. Sutton did a great job. And then obviously the finale with the tap dancing. Uh, I mean, that was something else, right? And Just like see, the cherry yes. on top. Yes. I like leaned up kind of like to see their feet. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like it was oh, really, God. really so wonderful. Good. So good. So yeah. good. Okay. So favorite song of the show? If I have to pick one, it has to be 76 trombones. Just, yeah, yeah. just because, yeah. So Mine, um, Light a Rose. So, yeah, the quartet really okay. was like a highlight for okay. me. Okay, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have dreams of being a quartet? Huh? I, oh, God, I would love to be in a in a barbershop quartet. Oh, oh okay, God, so okay. Awesome. Uh, okay. Never knew that. Okay, I love that. We're Breaking that news. Happen. Yeah, no, exactly. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, Jen, repeat, attend, or not. All right, guys, so um, we keep it, keep it real here. I'm gonna say no, I don't, this isn't something, and when we say repeat attend, just for our new script subscribers here, we mean like hardcore, like we would definitely, anytime it is in town, we wanna see it again. Yeah. And this isn't one of them, so yeah. thank you. It was freaking fantastic, I loved it. Yeah. And if you invited us to go again, we would, but it's not something I need to repeat attend. Yeah, so, I think, what about you? A combo, it, like, it was wonderful. I had a, a, an amazing time, the show was fantastic. But I think a combination of Hugh and being on Broadway and seeing it with you. And not even knowing we were you doing this. Hugh, and we could go, all of yeah, that, like, yeah. you know, so I think made it amazing. But I, it's it's not necessarily the show that's going to, like, pull me to the theater. Right. right? You know, right. so 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 it's a no for us on repeat of 10. But again. And for it, the Beetlejuice yeah. people, it has nothing to do with Beetlejuice. So we're not, it, it has not. Shouldn't have even brought that up. Huh? I know. Probably. I know. Let's just scratch that. Pretend it never happened. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, all right. So um, be sure to hang on till the end for our giveaway. Yep. for the giveaway are listed in the description below. Be sure to take a read. So what we're gonna be giving away is a playbill. So this is the playbill and in way to get this is to comment below with this as the sentence. And it is, my favorite classical show is, and fill in the blank. All right. Thank you so much for joining us, squad. And uh, we will see you on the other side. Curtain. Curtain. Oh, that was a fun video. What'd you think? I loved it. I had a great time. What did, did you guys think? Yeah, did you guys love it? Did you love it? Huh? 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 Well, if you did, guess what you should do? You should definitely like it. And you should subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you know every time that your broads drop content. Yay! We'll see you on the other side. Bye! Bye! Your fairy god broads. Hey!